Many black African American Christians engage in ritualistic behaviors that are based solely on unknown traditions. Watch night service is one such ritualistic tradition. In the minds of many black African American Christians, they go to church on New Year's Eve for the express purpose of worshiping Jesus Christ at the close of one year and the start of another. The average black African American Christian is clueless when it comes to the true history of watch night services. The history behind this tradition has absolutely nothing to do with Jesus or Christianity. President Abraham Lincoln issued the Emancipation Proclamation in 1862, which was to go into effect at midnight on January 1, 1863. On the night of December 31, 1862, many slaves, only, in the Confederate States met in the slave quarters to sing and praise a Father Abraham Lincoln for granting them their freedom. The purpose of these gatherings was to watch freedom come upon their lives at the stroke of midnight, January 1, 1863, ergo, watch night service. Again, many black African Americans are ignorant about the reason for the issuance of the Emancipation Proclamation. The average black African American, when asked, will tell you that President Abraham Lincoln freed the slaves when he issued the Emancipation Proclamation, which is false. The purpose of the Emancipation Proclamation was to create confusion and disruption among the Confederate forces. The Emancipation Proclamation only granted freedom to those slaves residing in the Confederate States and not the slaves residing in the Union States. Furthermore, President Abraham Lincoln did not have any jurisdiction over slaves residing in the Confederate States because these states had seceded from the United States, ergo, the Civil War. The Lincoln Memorial was dedicated on May 30, 1922 to a segregated audience. Because of this propaganda, Marian Anderson went to the feet of the Great Emancipator and performed her concert when the American Daughters of the American Revolution DAR, who were also Christians, denied her access to perform at Constitution Hall. Because of this white American propaganda, Martin Luther King Jr. led approximately 200,000 Negroes on the March on Washington in 1963 to the feet of this Great Emancipator and delivered his I Have a Dream speech.